Hi, thanks for watching. This is a quick look at how Google views and ranks your website in the search results. By understanding how the program works, we can use it to your advantage to increase the traffic to your site by getting it on the first page, so that way you're the first click and the first call. So I've got your website up here, and the format looks great. We've got all the buttons with all the services and everything to easily navigate. This is a click to call that works, which means you're mobile optimized, which is great. Um, as far as Google is concerned, when it's going to rank your website, it's using two different factors. The first is the content. So it's going to come in here and it's going to count all the words on the page. It's looking for about 1,000 to 1,500 words per page because it assumes that the more content or text you have on the page, the more of an expert you are in your field. Now, while it's counting the words, it's also searching for keywords, which would be anything that a customer would type into Google search, which is usually going to be a uh, service that you offer and then also a location that you offer it in. Now this is where the number of words on the page really comes into play because you're only allowed to have one keyword for every 100 to 150 words of text. So the more keywords that you want to be able to be searched and found for means the more text that has to be on your page. The second way that Google ranks your website is based on the authority which is basically a popularity contest. Now the two ways to build authority on your website is to get what's called a citation, which is any time that your name, address, or phone number are listed in an online directory. Those would be places like Yelp, Yellow Pages, Better Business Bureau. The good news about those is they're usually all free. It just takes some time to find them, register for each one, and then input all your information. You just wanna make sure it's exactly the same way that it's shown in Google. Now the second way that your page builds authority is through what's called backlinks. That is when another website links or refers back to yours and it acts as an endorsement for Google to build trust when others are vouching for you. Uh, it's similar to a customer review where if you had one or a hundred or a thousand customer reviews that would change how much trust they have in your company. It's the same thing for Google except it's using other websites. So to see how this determines where you rank in the search results, if we go back to our search here, the first thing that's going to show up is what's called the map pack or the map section. To show up in here, you need to fill out your Google business profile, which is actually inside the maps app. You can do it right from your smartphone. You just want to fill out as much information on there as possible, uh, like your services that you offer, the areas that you offer it in, and then your hours of operation. You want to try to fill out as much as possible and not leave anything blank. Then you want to continuously add photos that are geotagged inside your service area along with, with, along with posting and then try to get as many customer reviews added as possible. And then finally, you want to get as many of those citations as possible. The directories with your name, address, and phone number, you want to have more directory listings than anybody else in here so you can rank at the top. Underneath this map is what we call the organic search results. Now this is where the higher the authority or the more trust Google has in your website, the higher up in the list that you're going to rank. So to demonstrate this, I put your website into this tool that I use, and it shows me all the things that Google finds when it crawls your site for your content and then your authority. So just to understand these terms, if Channel 12 News did an article of the top 10 roofing companies in Rhode Island, and inside that article, the reader could click on a link and it would bring them to your website. That would be one backlink from one referring domain. So just for comparison, what I did was take the top company in the map pack and the top company in the organic listing and put them into that same tool so you can see how much authority and content they have on their sites. So this is where we need to make up the difference so that way we can outrank them and show up higher in the list. So just some one thing to note here, it's not just a matter of the quantity of links, it's also the quality of the links. So for instance, if we had Pizza Hut referring back to your website, Google understands that you're in the construction business, you're not making pizzas, so that wouldn't add any kind of authority even though it would be considered a link. Now if we look at the content, the keywords, these are all the keywords and phrases that are being found on your website, as well as their volume, the number of times per month that they're being searched. So what we would do here is some research to find the highest volume keywords and make sure that those are definitely being found on your site. So for instance, 
Roofer RI is searched 250 times a month. Right now, you're in the 51st position down there on the fourth, in the bottom of the fourth page. If you were on the first page, 250 people a month would see your website when they search Roofer RI. If we're really conservative and say only 10% of those actually click and call you, that's 25 customers calling you every month. I don't know what your conversion rate is, but let's see, be even more conservative and say, you know, roughly 10% of those actually turn into customers. Now you've got about three new customers every month just off of one keyword. So then we try to do that same thing for all the high volume keywords to make sure that you're ranked on the top of the first page and that these are on your website to be found. So that way you're getting all these calls and all these sales to add to your bottom line. So I hope this information was useful and it helps you to boost your online presence. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions or you would like me to go into any further detail about anything that I talked about. Also, uh, we could discuss your goals and I could do some research to find out what it would take for you to reach those. I always love getting feedback as well to find out if this information was useful or not. So please feel free to let me know your thoughts. Thank you and I look forward to speaking with you.